So with our chokes, RNC, I love to be methodical. I'm here, I get it, I squeeze nice and slow, right? Short choke, I can also get that nice and slow. If I got a good short choke, I can let it come on slow. But here's the thing with the short choke. This one, Mr. Carroll's not gonna <coughs> like it. Once you get good enough so you can do it and not hurt the guy, the short choke can rely, or also called a gable grip choke, can rely on a reflex we have. Humans, especially us men, don't like this Adam's apple, get them depressed. So if we quickly hit it, it's gonna cause the eyes to water, it's gonna cause the brain to be like panic mode. So that's why I like my setup where if I'm coming for a short choke, I keep the choke off until I'm ready to apply it. I come in, boom, I hit it tight and quick. And that should be how fast the short choke works because in a lot of ways we want that short choke to be a reaction to the choke and less a choke. Does that make sense? Like I said, you're gonna hate me. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Well, just do strike and rotate. <laughs> That's fine. So why don't we pair off a little bit and just work, just so you can get a feel for it, pair off, do that choke nice and slow at first until you feel the burn, and then you tap because the wind choke and the blood choke of it, and that'll let me tweak a little bit, um, teach it a little bit, and then try one or two where you just pull it quick. That make sense? Just so you can get the experience of it yeah. within safety. All right.